Talent does not win championships. Work ethic does. We watch those who work. We're motivated by those who work, but we never put in the work. And so if there's anything that's broken in you, nine times out of 10, it is the law of application. It's not really ringing true in your heart. You're still in your feelings. You're still in your emotions. You're still locked in your paradigm of preferences. And the moment that you break free and stop doing what you feel like doing and do what you must do to get the job done, that, and at that point only, will you be able to see the future. The future is gonna cost you everything. Mr. X is whatever success looks like for you. Mr. X is a portrait, a picture, an example of whatever it is success means to you. And, I'm, and I want to be the first to tell you, if you didn't know, the elevator doesn't go to the top. You cannot take the elevator to the top. You might get to the 20th floor, you might get to the 30th floor, but you're not going to get to the 40th floor or whatever floor your success is on taking the elevator. At some point in time, you're going to have to take the stairs. And so the moment that you start to take the stairs, boom, that's when the adversity hits. You got to be willing to take some no's. You have to be willing to get rejected. You have to be willing for people to lie on you. You have to be willing to be dragged through the mud and through murky water. You can't take the elevator to the top. At some point, you got to take the stairs. And when you take the stairs, you're gonna learn a lesson that the elevator could never teach you. Rejection does something to you. Hardship does something to you. Conflict does something to you. The elevator can't teach you the lesson that the stairwell teaches you. But I bet you this, by the time you get to that 40th floor, by the time you shake the hand of Mr. X, you will be prepared to sustain what you work for. Everybody always talks about getting to the top. Everybody always talks about going after their dream. But nobody talks about retention, retention, retention. And the work that is required not only to get there, but to stay there and go to the next level. And so the mentality you're going to have to have if you're going to win, if you're going to conquer your day, conquer your week, if you're going to win the year, I need you to remember that talent does not win championships, work ethic does. Here's the mentality you're going to need. That nobody's going to outwork you. I'm sorry, I love you, but you're not going to outwork me. I'm with you, but you're not going to outwork me. We're connected, but you're not going to outwork me. We can dream together, we can lean in together, but you're not going to outwork me. We may be in the same class, but you're not going to outwork me. Number one, I need you to have the made up and fully persuaded mind that nobody is going to outwork you. Stop sitting around moping and complaining and waiting for somebody to connect the dots for you. Put the work in and take the stairs to the top. Ask yourself the question, what are you known for? I need you to become notorious for service, notorious for work ethic, notorious for finishing what you start. You got to be willing to lose sleep to go after this dream. You have to be willing to lose sleep to graduate. You have to be willing to lose sleep to pass the exam. I need you to have a whatever it takes mentality. If you want to win, you're going to have to get upset sometimes. And I'm not talking about uh, a non-productive anger. I'm talking about a massively productive disappointment. You're going to have to get disappointed sometimes with where you are. This is what I like to call proactive disappointment. I'm upset with where I am. I'm upset with what I have not accomplished. I'm upset at every time I have allowed myself to be distracted. Get upset. Get disappointed with yourself. You're upset with the moments in your life where you allowed yourself to sink into depression, where you allowed yourself to become distracted. Get upset. Get flat out mad about where you are. Don't get mad to quit. Get mad to keep going. That's the problem is that you have to rewire and redirect your anger. I'm not going to be upset and quit. I'm going to get mad and stay in it. From this moment on, I need you to give it everything you have. Show up and play at the highest level of yourself every single time. If you're going to put the work in, if you're going to give it everything you have, all the blood, all the sweat, all the tears, give it a thousand percent. This is the only way you are going to make it to the top. 
You're going to have stairs called confusion. You're going to have stairs called rejection. You're going to have stairs called misunderstanding. But keep climbing. You're going to have sabotage and betrayal. And people are going to lie to you. And people are going to give up on you. And people are going to write you off. Listen to me. Before you get to the 40th floor, people will write you off. People will count you out. But I need you to climb every stair, every obstacle that stands in your way. Because when you get to the top, you're going to meet Mr. X. And after you meet that X, it's going to be another X. Whatever your X is, define your X. You've got to be willing to be punctual. You have to be disciplined. you got to be the first to get there and the last to leave. You have to invest your time wisely. I need you to maintain a balanced lifestyle. You have to develop a hunger for mentorship. You need to develop a hunger for wisdom. You need to develop a thirst for correction and constructive analysis. You need to stop having a problem with being corrected. So my budget for empowerment and education must exceed my budget for entertainment. You may be discouraged, but work. You may be tired, but work. You may be overwhelmed, but work. People may have doubted you. People may have written you off, but work. You may not feel qualified, but work. You may feel underestimated, overlooked, and undervalued, but work. If you want to win, you have to work. You gotta work with tears in your eyes. You gotta work when nobody understands why you're working so hard. You gotta work when you don't feel like it. And one of the things I need you to do from this moment forward is to get out of your feelings. Because if you only work when you feel like it, you won't get much done. Destiny is not about how you feel. Destiny is what you're called to do. It's what you are anointed to do. It's what you are assigned to do. It is an appointment that none of us can afford to miss. Accept the fact, whatever you're going to accomplish, it is going to require hard work.